Yeah. Ah. yeah. Ah, good morning. Umaga. <laughs> and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. No, we are not doing a video today on jamming in the sunroom. Although it is a lovely, lovely morning here. Uh, in Charleston, South Carolina, and it's just wonderful back here in the sunroom. Yeah. We'll do a jam session for another time. Today, we are going to focus on product review. Mm -hmm. We uh, were, were reached out by a company uh, that want us to show one of their products, and we're going to talk about that product in just a little bit. But we're going to talk just a little bit about it right now. It has to do with water shoes. And if you don't What's know what water, water shoes, shoes is, by the end of today's episode, you probably <laughs> will have more information about water shoes than you ever wanted to know. Uh, so what do you say we get today's episode started? So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. underway. Now, before we get started with today's episode on a product review of the water shoe, I want to do a quick update on that waterproof box that we're using that houses the Pile Amp and the Alexa Echo input uh, that's going to be used for the rock speakers back at Villa Feliz. I finally completed, completed the project. I added a couple more things and I want to show you very quickly what the updates I did since the last time that we spoke and then we're going to be shipping that back to the Philippines. Now, as promised, a quick update on some new improvements that I did to the weatherproof box housing, uh, the pile amp, and the on-off switch that we have, the smart switch inside here, uh, for the rock speakers that we're going to be installing out at Villa Fleas. Now, I decided to install those two 40 millimeter fans in a push-pull type of a configuration. It will pull air in on this side, it will go inside, it will circulate through the system in here, and uh, this one over here will pull the air back out. So this will always stay cool. I don't think it's necessary, but it's better to be safe than sorry. And I also added a, a speaker wire configuration plug right here, quick plug. If you see this plug right here, and I got this waterproof little plug right here. In the event that I do use it on the outside, I'm still not sure that I'm gonna put this whole thing on the outside. We might actually put it inside the garage. And this plugs in just like this right here. And the other end of this wire right here will clip off and we will connect to the speaker wires that go out to the speakers, the rock speakers inside the uh, yard. What I did for testing purposes, I went ahead and I connected it to a couple of RCA jacks for quick connection to those rock speakers. Because remember, they, they already have the RCA female connectors inside there as well. So this is the final solution. Uh, also inside, you see I mounted, I don't know if you can see it, let's see. Well, I went ahead and put the, uh, you can see this little remote control that's used for the USB and the SD cards that go in this part of the amp. I, I don't think I'll ever use that, but just so that I don't lose it, I'm gonna put it inside there, put some uh, two-sided Velcro on there and that will stay. So this is ready, this is ready to go. We're good here and uh, we'll test it, uh, do the install out at Villa Fleas, and we'll see how that works out there. Well, I hope you found that interesting, but <laughs> back to the main reason that we're here to talk today, and that has to do with product review of a water shoe. Now, we were uh, contacted, a company reached out to us, and the name of the company, I'm not ex really sure how to pronounce it. We tried to figure that out. I, we got ready to produce this video today, uh, do the pro start the product review, and I, I looked at the name of the company and I got to thinking, I don't really know how to pronounce this because it's spelled A-L-E-A-D-E-R. Now, Aliader? Aliader? A-Leader? A-Leader? I don't know, but what I did, <laughs> this is embarrassing. I reached back out to the company that uh, uh, sent us the uh, a sample and I said, please tell us how to pronounce your name if you want to get credit for this with the right name. And hopefully by the end of today's episode, we have a, uh, a known from an unknown name. When you run a YouTube channel, and if your YouTube channel is based on things like do-it-yourself, 
uh, product reviews or uh, restaurant reviews and things like that. Sometimes corporations, they will reach out to you and they will ask you to do a product review of their product, hoping that you will give them a, a positive review of their product. Uh, and we are honest with our reviews. And we did, uh, a company reached out to us Aliado, they reached out to us and they said, would you be interested in trying our shoes? And uh, coincidentally, and this this is kind of crazy because the stars kind of lined up and everything. <laughs> I was on uh, Amazon.com uh, the, the, uh, probably uh, almost within 30 minutes before I received the email and I was looking for a, a replacement shoe for uh, one of my favorite brands, which are Skecher. I like Skecher and I like 511 products when it comes to clothing and apparel. And, uh, and the reason I like Skechers so much is because they are so lightweight. They're knitted. The only, and it's very, very, uh, uh, it's probably just, a, I don't know, four, five, six <laughs> ounces or something like that for the pair of the shoes. And they're very comfortable. You don't even know that you're wearing them. Well, what I don't like about Skechers is when you get them wet, if you take them on a boat, if you take them out to the lake, if you take them to the, the river, to the ocean, or you're working on your car, washing your car, uh, when you get the shoes wet, there's no place for the water to go. No now let's talk about the 8 liter water shoes. water shoes. In the bottom of the shoe, they actually have openings with screens underneath uh, the cushion inside the shoe. And they're very lightweight shoes as well. So anyway, uh, they uh, they offered to send us a pair of shoes for, for reviews. A little sh story here also on top of this. They offered to send me a pair of shoes. And I said, well, I'll, I'll tell you what. I said, uh, uh, my <laughs> wife and I do things together. We do all these things together. I said, would you be willing to send us both a pair of shoes? And they said, sure, why not? So they sent us uh, a pair of shoes. Now, the second thing, the criteria for the shoes that we wanted, even though we want to test out, water shoes, we wanted something that could be uh, multi-functional, uh, multi uh, a diverse pair of shoes, something that you could wear shopping in the mall, uh, just walking down the street, jogging, going yeah. to the beach, whatever. We wanted something that encompasses all of those areas. <coughs> so they allowed us to select the ones uh, that we thought would fit all those, and here are the ones that we selected. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and do a box opening. Yeah. And uh, this is what they sent us. We haven't seen, we haven't even opened these yet. So yeah. let's take a look. Anyway, this looks like, uh, since this is a size nine, I'm going to assume that this is mine. This is yours. And this okay. is mine. So let's go ahead and let's open see. it and show everybody what they look like. Slowly. Oh, I'm not slow. <laughs> I think it, uh, I, <laughs> yes. I, I, technical difficulties right <laughs> okay. here. Anyway. Oh, nice color. So uh, what we did... Oh, wow, very light. So what we did... The, these... The, it's, it's like a feather. I'm going to tell you right now. First impressions are... These are extremely light. And these are the ones that I was telling you that this type of shoe can be used <coughs> for both casual wear and also for going to the beach. Now let me show you a key feature of these shoes. If you look underneath here, you see the holes that they have for yeah. the draining. The draining, and there's some like screen inside there, like screen. Uh, yeah. and they fall up underneath the 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 sole and cushion on the inside. So uh, they both have the, the 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 drain points inside there, as well as the uh, shoe can drain on the side and on the top and the sides here. So I I'm already happy it's with this angry. right here. Yeah. Now. Something I'm always concerned with is how the back of the shoe fits, make sure it doesn't rub against uh, your foot or anything. Now these shoes are meant to be worn without socks, no socks on. And we're gonna, we're gonna wear these probably a couple of days. We'll, we'll go ahead and test these out for a couple of days and we will let you know whether they're comfortable right out of the box to wear it. And that's normally something that's a problem. Also, when you get shoes that are brand new, especially if they're dress shoes, they take forever to break in. They normally hurt around this area. They normally kind of hurt around here. And if they're not wide enough or anything like that, sometimes for people who have uh, wide, uh, wide feet, they kind of hurt around here. So we're going to test like these out. This, I like this tie. Oh. Uh, oh. 
okay. Yeah. She's already got it figured out how no, this whole tie thing goes on here. Well, that is cool. Well, anyway, nice. we're going to try this out. Yeah, and something nice. something that I want you to notice, uh, we both, I asked her, which shoes are you interested in? Uh, and, and I picked these out, and I asked her which ones you're interested in. And they're both, they're the same style, and we'll give you the model name of these uh, that we picked out here as well. Uh, but they're very similar, so th they both can be worn together. Uh, uh, his and her shoes right here. Anyway, you ready to try them out? Okay. All right, let's do that. <laughs> What do you think? It's, they're very comfortable, Vance. I, I got to tell you, first impressions are extremely positive. <laughs> uh, I, these, it's, it's, it's almost very, like you're not. It's almost like you're not even wearing. It's very airy. Yeah, very airy, very, 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 very light. light, and yeah. they they feel like house shoes. Now, what we're going to do? We're going to start out this morning. We're going to start out wearing them in the house. Now, we don't wear shoes in the house, but these are brand new shoes, right out of the box. Uh, so they haven't touched soil yet. So we're going to walk around here, uh, see what it feels like in the house. Then we're going to go outside. We're going to check them out outside. And then when we're going to... When it's uh, not hot. Yeah. Then we're going to go... <laughs> we will go on a trip. We will go on a field trip and we're going to get them wet. What do you say? Yes. <laughs> we're going on a beach. I don't know. Going to the beach? <laughs> Maybe. Well, anyway, we are going to put the shoes to the ultimate test this morning. We've been wearing the shoes all week long and they've been really comfortable. I cannot find any flaws in the shoes <laughs> as of yet, but that is not the real test. Remember, these are water shoes. And to be able to to, to be able to determine whether they are going to be able to do what they say they're going to be able to do, we need to take them into some water. So we're headed out to the beach this morning. Uh, we're going to go to one of our favorite beaches here uh, near Charleston. It's called the Isle of Palms. Uh, and then maybe we'll go grab some uh, brunch somewhere and then head back to the house and we'll do a follow-up, uh, a <laughs> closeout of our review of these shoes. And oh, by the way, the name of the shoes are A-Leader. We got confirmation from the company uh, <laughs> for the correct pronunciation. So uh, let's go ahead and head out to the, the beach and have a good time this morning and uh, uh, get our shoes wet. <laughs> Well, here we are at the beautiful Isle of Palms, South Carolina. It's a really nice morning here, a good breeze, uh, gentle waves coming in from the ocean. And we're just gonna enjoy a little bit of the morning here. Well, today we are going to test out the water, te the water properties here of our water shoes made by A-Leader. Now, first impressions as they are, let me tell you what I think and what Ness thinks. So we'll ask her what she thinks about the, uh, the characteristics of these shoes going in a saltwater environment on a sandy beach. Now, my impressions are that when you go in the water and all the sand kind of gets inside your shoe, those same mm, venting inside that allows your 
the, the sand to get inside also makes it very easy for the sand to leave get at the inside, same time. Yeah. So no holes. And and the sand goes go through the holes. And that's a problem with other types of water shoes. When you have other types of water shoes, from what I hear, is you get sand trapped inside the shoe because there's no way for the sand or the water to get out. So these are working really good as far as being able to uh, remove the, the sand that goes in there. Uh, whether it be on the dry part of the beach, like over there, I noticed the sand came in. It did come in through the bottom of the shoe, uh, through those ventilation holes inside there. But also as you're walking, the sand also fall, falls back out, the dry sand. Yeah. Now when we went over into the, the beach water, uh, also there's wet sand there. And the wet sand gets inside your shoe when you're walking, but it also, they, as you're they walking... Also, they also get out. Yeah, it also gets out as well. So, so we have clean shoes without the sand. <laughs> <laughs> so so the, the, the characteristics of it getting foreign debris inside and foreign debris uh, being able to get it out easily is a good thing with these type of shoes. So anyway, uh, our, our test on the sand and our tests going inside the water are both very favorable uh, for the A-liter water shoes right here. So I'm real happy with these so far. Now the next thing we need to do, we need to run them through, I, they always have like water stations at all the beaches and uh, the parks. So let's go ahead and uh, rinse these out and see how long they take to dry. Now I guess you could sit them out in the sun and I don't know how long they would dry in the sun, but we're gonna wear them. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna walk actually down, they have some uh, restaurants and pubs and everything down on the beachfront here at the Isle of Palms. We're gonna walk down there and we'll see how comfortable they are uh, in their drying mode. We are back here at our house. Well, this isn't actually our house. This is our amenity <laughs> center right down the street from our house. This is where we have our swimming pool area. Where we are going to partake in some swimming activities here in just a moment uh, because it is like 100 degrees Fahrenheit oh here God. today. It is, a I gotta say, I think this is the hottest day on record for this year. It's extreme, I, it's hotter here than it is it's in Lipa hot. in the Philippines right now. I will tell you, I, m much hotter. Uh, so anyway, uh, we want to do our final wrap up, uh, our findings of the shoes that we wore this week and what we, uh, the final thoughts that we have on it. So uh, what are your final thoughts on it? Well, they are very light mm -hmm. and when you wear them, it's like your second skin. <laughs> like, your <se> <laughs> like your second skin. Yeah. Like, like that snake, snake skin that we found in the backyard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not, not, not like that one. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I, I'm going to actually pull my shoe off. And, and there's a couple of things that I want to discuss about the shoes. Uh, one thing is out-of-box experience. We're, we're, remember at the beginning of the episode, I say sometimes when you first put shoes on, they're, uh, they're um, a little sore in spots. They're, they're rough. Uh, and it takes a while to break them in. These out of the box, they're just like they've they've been broken in, and they are. Uh, it's very soft. Yeah. Everything, all the material is, uh, is thoughtfully uh, uh, thought out properly, and it's it's very comfortable out of the out of the box. Now, this was a concern of mine: is the sole insert coming out? Uh, look at the honeycomb sole insert. Well, I got to tell you. Uh, it doesn't shift, it doesn't move. And I, I don't know if it has to do with the material that they use on the inside, or if this, or because it's or so pre precisely cut, uh, yeah. but it doesn't shift around. And it makes uh, for very quick drying because we dried it this afternoon when we came back from the Isle of Palms. Uh, yeah. These were soaked and we washed them off again. And we put them on the bench in the backyard in about and 45 they minutes, dry quickly. very quickly, in about 45 minutes, they were 100% dry, ready for wearing, uh, doing normal things without any f feeling of moisture at all inside. Now, something I did not mention that they do mention on the website, on the A Leader website, you see this additional type of uh, rubber. You see the rubber that they have on here yeah. on top of this right here. Yeah. What they do is they put on all of their shoes 
they add well, additional heavy-duty strength rubber uh, for the high wear areas, mm -hmm. so which are all these areas right here. And it's different on each type of a pattern, uh, each different model of shoe that they have. Uh, so uh, I think that's a great idea as well. I could not find anything negative about the shoe. I've been wearing it all week, and I don't, I don't want to take the shoes off. They're really comfortable, and yeah. they're very convenient uh, for going anywhere, going to Walmart, uh, going out to a Go fast to food restaurant. Uh, going to the beach like we did today so uh, I, I my overall uh, recommendations on these shoes and I think maybe you agree with me is two okay. thumbs up huh two thumbs up two thumbs up <laughs> two no, thumbs four <laughs> four thumbs up on these <laughs> shoes now we've been we've been told by the company if you're interested in purchasing uh, these shoes from the a leader website and we'll leave a link inside the description block today uh, that if you use a special code that they gave us you'll get 15% off of anything that they have on their website as well mm -hmm. uh, so if you're thinking about buying uh, and you want to avail from the a leader website uh, take advantage of that 15% off uh, th these are well-made shoes they're very competitive yeah with the big name brands again uh, like uh, Skechers and 511 Nike and all those other I would not hesitate to buy another pair as a matter of fact I think I'm gonna get another pair of these that are not the real I think these are kind of too nice sometimes to do yard work and stuff like that <laughs> so I think I'm gonna get another pair of the ones that are uh, a little simpler to use around uh, the yard doing yard work around Villa Feliz so that's gonna be it for today uh, all right. so uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, the review of this product right here and if you're interested in other reviews we will be doing that in the future as well so if you enjoyed today's video please give us a thumbs up please share and if you have not subscribed just click on that little my pi dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen you will be subscribed and you'll be notified the next time we upload a new video so until such time and i get out of that pool to relax for a little bit you have a wonderful and blessed day